how to retain your hair length washing clean and clear no pun whatever the case may have been it just wasn't for me so i moved on sweet almond oil tea tree oil jamaican black castor oil grapeseed oil and i think that's it hi guys welcome and welcome back to this channel today's topic for this video is how to retain your hair length type 4 curly girl hair edition today i'm going to be talking about a bunch of different tips and tricks that I have used and that have worked for me to grow and maintain my hair. Disclaimer, I am not a trained professional nor a licensed cosmetologist. I'm only sharing tips that have worked for me in helping me grow and maintain my hair length. But before we move on, I would love it and appreciate it if you guys would like comment and subscribe to this channel if you like this video stick around because you're gonna get the tea today so in my last hair video i did a review on the revlon i alluded to making a video about how i grew and maintained my hair length because i was so intrigued by how long my hair has been since the last time i put direct heat and blew it out now we're here and this video is being made for your enjoyment so please show some love like and comment if you love what's in this video but let's get this started we're gonna start at the base with washing hair now I have low porosity hair and I have a more so dry scalp so I know it's gonna sound crazy but for me it is crucial it is crucial for me to use a clarifying shampoo on my hair crucial my hair loves to be clean squeaky clean now there's a difference between squeaky clean and stripped we don't want stripped but we want the scalp to be clear clean of all the gunk my hair does not like product buildup I have low porosity hair and she does not like product buildup whatsoever. She needs to be clean and clear, no pun. And it's just something about a clarifying shampoo when you get really in there, you just feel like you have a new head on your shoulders. It's like insane. Again, sorry, no pun, not sponsored. Thank you. <laughs> but I like to use a clarifying shampoo. The clarifying shampoo that I use is the Melanin Hair Care African Black Soap Shampoo. I love Whitney's products. I've been using her products for a year. And since this is based off of my hair journey for about a year plus, her hair products are going to make another occurrence in this video. Just letting you know. But that is a shampoo that I like to use. It is clarifying, but it also is very nourishing. It has amazing oils, amazing ingredients that you can understand when you're reading them and it just leaves your scalp feeling nice and tingly and fresh and renewed just like my scalp likes it. In the shower, we're also going to be addressing detangling and conditioning. So when I'm detangling my hair, I do not use hair tools. I used to use a wide tooth comb, but I no longer use a wide tooth comb. I just saw that I wasn't retaining the length that I wanted and I was getting a lot of breakage using hair tools in the shower and part of that is probably because the technique wasn't right the technique wasn't there whatever the case may have been it just wasn't for me so I moved on to only detangling my hair with my hands my natural comb that is the only thing I use to detangle my hair so as I'm washing my hair I'm doing everything in sections I would say about 10 sections all together five on each side I take those sections I make sure it's saturated in water. I add shampoo into my hand, rub it up, and lather it onto the scalp. And as I'm lathering it onto my scalp, I'm pulling my hair taut to stop it from scrunching in on itself and causing tangles. Because when you have curls and coils, the last thing you want to do is make tangles. You know, your hair naturally always wants to curl into itself but you're trying to try your best to train your hair to be as taut as possible and as stretched as possible to avoid that so i'm doing this motion on each section i'm not going in circles i'm not rubbing side to side because that can cause um tangling at the root you don't want that tangles bad so we're just 
working even after each section is done you go in with your conditioner again from the melanin hair care hairline i use the multi-use leave-in conditioner which is a leave-in a regular conditioner and a deep conditioner all in one i use it for all of those things so in the shower i take a good amount of conditioner and i work it in i work it in and this is where the detangling starts so i'm starting at the ends working at the ends and i'm working my way up to my scalp and i'm raking my hands through and i'm also taking pieces where i see there's a tangle and i'm carefully working them out carefully working them out you know your hands are the most gentle tools you could possibly use on your hair because you know exactly how much force and what you're doing with it so we're carefully taking out each tangle one by one and we're working it through until you have absolutely no resistance and then once you are doing that i also use an oil blend which is not a part of her product line but that i made myself it is my little oil concoction of grapeseed oil sweet almond oil olive oil tea tree oil jamaican black castor oil and i think that's it five oils all in a little bottle that i mix up shake up put it in my hands and then i seal the conditioner praying hands method <laughs> it could be oil into my hair and i work that in i work that in and i do that for every single section and i'm telling you the curls be popping the tangles melted it's amazing and i'm doing this all under warm very warm water because <laughs> like i said i have low porosity hair in order to open up the fugles of the hair to allow the moisture in the products to get in the water needs to be warm now that we've talked about washing and detangling we're going to move on to what happens after that which is deep conditioning so what i do is i leave what i used in the shower in my head and i wrap it in a plastic bag and i sit under the dryer for about 20 minutes max and then i rinse all of that out from my hair deep conditioning is very 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 important especially for curly girls. Um, I don't use any specific deep conditioner that's on the market. I just use the conditioner that I use in the shower and I add it with some oils and I just sit under the dryer and it works for me. That's what I've been doing since I was little. Now, after you've done all of that and you've rinsed your deep conditioner out, here we go with the styling. How are you going to style your hair? Me personally, I prefer low manipulation styles styles like little twists that i can whoop, throw back into a scarf and look cute um, i also love to do roller sets which i have a roller sets or flexi rod sets which i have a video that i will also link in the cards above i really love those that is really my go-to if i'm not doing protective styles then I'm doing perm rod sets. And that works for me. Low manipulation styles work for me. And also, not just low manipulation, but low heat. Indirect heat is important in keeping your hair healthy and keeping your length because you don't want to continuously be breaking the bonds of proteins in your hair when you're doing direct heat styles, like straightening it. It's just not gonna work. It's just not gonna work unless you have very strong hair that's resistant to those things curly girls need to be careful with the way we are manipulating our hair it needs to be low manipulation and curly girl friendly and if you are doing a lot of heat styles make sure that your products and your techniques reflect that so if you're constantly blow drying your hair straightening your hair you need to be deep conditioning you need to be doing protein treatments you need to make sure that you have all of those things to keep your hair as healthy as possible personally like i said i like indirect heat so when i am doing my flexi rods or my roller sets or my perm rod sets i sit under the dryer and i sit under that until my hair is dry sometimes i'll do both air drying and indirect heat under the hooded dryer the next topic is moisturizing you need to make sure that you are moisturizing your hair properly because our hair needs to be needs to be well moisturized in order to retain length i personally use the leave-in that i mentioned before the multi-use leave-in conditioner by melanin hair care and i also use her 
Twist Elongating Styling Cream after that. And then I finish it all off with the oil concoction <laughs> that I make. And that is the, what, LCO method. And lastly, my number one tip for retaining hair length is protective styles. Protective styling is the key to retaining length. It protects your hair. It does what it does. It keeps your hair in, protected from the elements, protected from any manipulation, and it just keeps your hair safe. It's like a safe haven, a nice little vacation for your hair, where you're not touching it, you're not manipulating it, you're not doing any of those things. You're just leaving it alone. I will insert all the different protective styles I've done throughout my life and i'm telling you it is the key i love when my hair is away especially when i don't feel like doing it anymore i love getting my hair braided right now i'm in a protective style i have simple straight backs with cute little beads at the ends um i also if i'm not having braids i also do scarves with um little twists in my hair with a scarf over it style it with some big earrings glasses and it just looks cute while you're keeping your hair safe another thing that i forgot to say is that one thing that i've also been implementing in my hair is the aztec healing clay mask <laughs> um, with the clay and the apple cider vinegar i have a video of that as well that i will link in the cards and ever since i've used that it acts like this total reset of my hair whenever my hair is not acting right or whenever it's just not doing what i needed to do i know it's time for my hair to have a reset that mask does it for me because sometimes shampoo isn't enough you need something to completely reset and clarify your hair please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and tell me if you use any of these techniques and which ones that you feel like you will probably be the implementing into your own routine thank you so much for watching until the end and i will see you in my next video